Hey guys, what's going on? Herbuck here. Today we're going to be playing some more Farming Simulator 2017 on No Creek Farms. And we went ahead and got two more tractors. Now we're just buying tractors like crazy. One of you guys suggested a 4440. So we went ahead and got that. And then we got a 4020. I think someone suggested it in the chat. I don't remember. I think so. But what do you guys want for a combine? Do you guys want two combines? And if you do, if you want another combine besides the Gleaner, let me know. I will probably get it in here. I'm going to buy, I'm going to run two combines. And I'll probably get another person on here. Don't know who yet. If you guys want, I might choose somebody from chat if you guys comment. We'll see. But we need a green cart driver. Probably end up needing a semi driver and another combine driver because I'll be one of the combine drivers. Actually, I'll probably be grain cart driver. We'll see. But we need to put this away. And a lot of you guys want Gearbox, some of you don't. Some of you just complain about the HUD. So, what I can do is I can hit my slash key and I can still see the gears down there at the bottom by the fuel sign. So, I'm going to go ahead and just keep running Gearbox and we'll just leave it down there in the bottom. I can still see what gear I'm in. And I think what I'm going to do is I'll put it away. I need to get this put away because I've had it out forever. I think I caught the corner. See, i got to get used to... The only bad thing about Gearbox is I need to get a joystick set up on top of my... Or uh, whatever you want to call it. I think I'm just going to pull it in here because we'll be running it not for... We'll be running it on soybeans, so we'll just leave it hooked up. Let me know what you want me to put on the baler also, because we need to get that done. It's about to, it's going to rain soon. We got the flat bed out still. We should probably put some of this stuff away. But yeah, we, we're we busy today. We're going to be busy. So we're going to run over here to the 49 at 55. We're going to start raking away. We got the big crone rake as we bought last video. It's a big machine. Oh yeah, and I think I have to hide it for everything too. But we're gonna just unfold it here. While the tractor starts up, takes forever. Um, yeah, we should we should we should be able to rake three windrows together. Unless you hit a tree, then you can only rake a few. But we'll turn this. Actually, I probably should be using my. Uh, well, I gotta bring my foot pedals up. There we go. Actually, there'll probably be some background noise, so if you hear, like, grinding in the background, hit the tree again. If you hear, like, this... Actually, I don't even think you guys can hear that, which is good. But if you hear any weird grinding, that's my steering wheel, because it's got gears inside there. And... Dang it. Alright, we're just gonna, like, go all the way. So there's three there, we'll just go start on this crazy one right here. So we'll just switch gears... We'll set it down. We shouldn't use Jeep. Well, we should, but we won't. Should be able to go about three, probably four. Fourth gear. Should be able to go about 15, I think. Maybe it's 12. I think this is the speed that we go. So, yeah, we're going to rake this up a little bit here. Get it all ready to go for baling. We're going to bale half of this. And uh, silage the other half. We're going to do some haylage. And yeah, so we are getting pivots. I'm just waiting till the winter to get them because a lot of people don't get them like right now, I would say. Yeah, a lot of people usually don't do it in the winter or in the summer because they have crops out on their field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a company on here. I'm going to get a company on here and we are going to get some some stuff done so we got to take out the pond and we got to do some work of our own we got to get some uh, some of them bales moved out of there some we got to get the hay the crops off all that we got to chisel this all up so we can plant it to crops but yeah we're gonna take out all them trees back there and we're gonna smooth that ditch up also we're gonna take out a lot of that stuff over there and them hills and stuff, we'll just doze them out. You guys will see that. We're just gonna doze. We, well, we aren't gonna doze it. Somebody else is. Hired a company to come out about uh, autumn time. 
it'll be late autumn after we get it all done harvesting I'll have them come out and get the trees dozed down and then I'll have another company come out or it might be the same one I'm not sure I don't know if they do pivots or not installation of pivots but we will have them come on and two pivots also so with this rake you rake like super fast probably just zoom in a little bit on the old rake here so it's just so big so yeah that outside pass just kinda got messed up now the pond it's pretty easy to take out I think I'll just fill it in It'll be the easiest easiest deal to do now basically you don't really have to do much I mean you got the line here for the rake in any way you just basically have your own guideline probably could do first person oh my guys do you guys like first person more are you guys like looking at the machine like this because I like this it's a lot easier to do things than first person Nick wants to do it the other way yeah I'm gonna drive with my crops Nick wants to go first person so I don't know I could do first person if you guys want just let me know and he will be posting tomorrow. Should be, I think. I don't know. I'm not part of that, but Tim and Squad's deal. There we go. Turn around. We probably rake all this together, but there's an extra one. So we'll probably just end up doing partial. So yeah, we're gonna bail about half, square bail about half of this. That's what you guys requested, square bail. A few of you wanted round. Square's more productive and easier. A lot easier than round bailing. I don't know about real life though. Real life it's probably a little harder to square bale. Probably evens out though. So we'll lift that up. We should be almost done. I gotta do this last pass over here. And then we'll take her back to the yard. Kick that on, drop her down. And we'll run this little stretch real quick. Okay, so we got that all raked back there. We're going to go ahead and roll in the yard here. I think we'll just set the rake outside for now. We need another building. Let's park it here with the old, uh, the... What is this? I, f I always forget this one. It's 4760, isn't it? Yeah, I got it right. So, we'll get in the Rhino. Or should we do... Hmm. I think we'll leave that till last. We'll do that last. We'll go rake that over there on the other place. By that corn. We're going to go ahead and jump in. Let's see. We'll jump in the 4020. Gonna hide that HUD there. We'll put her in reverse. We'll back up. So we're gonna go hook, go ahead and hook on chopper boxes. I was gonna get silage trucks. I do have them actually in the game. I figured that was gonna be a little bit of overkill, but I don't know. I'll have to pull the chopper boxes with the silage machine here. You guys will see that sitting there. See, so yeah, I will back up here. And attach. This should be... I think this would be big enough to pull it. Empty for sure. I don't know about full, though. Yeah, I... I don't know. I think it's able to pull it full. In the game, it probably is. So we'll drive over here. I think we'll only use... I don't know where my other one is. I might not brought it back yet. I think it's still at the garage. The shop. Actually, or no, it's over there by the building. That's where it's at. I remember now. And we'll just sit this one here. It's kind of in the way. We'll pull it off in the middle here. The old tractor's pulling hard. We'll just put it right here. We'll detach it. Then we get the silage chopper hooked on it. Now I don't have a loader, however, I think what I'll do is I'll just dump it in the silage bunk and we'll push it up later. Let's see, I gotta get, oh, hold on, hold on, there we go. 
get back in the game here accidentally tabbed out come on silage harvester there she is the old 8000 series mower or silage chopper with the it's a big old pickup header I know that and lift that up look at that that pickup header so heavy so the way this works is basically you just have wide open and then you got your hydrostat basically you have a hydrostat ooh coming out a lot here fast but it does roll a little bit of coal I'm gonna hook on the other chopper box that way it's ready to go I think it's facing this way I should probably shift down a gear oh yeah so it actually yells at you to stop to shift because because you can't shift a hydrostat when you're moving very easily, at least on silage shoppers and combines. And oh, wrong button. Hold on. There we go. So now we go forward in second gear. I think we'll chop in second gear. I think that's about the right speed. Oh yeah. Well, maybe first gear with it wide open. You wouldn't. I don't think. Well, there's are some pretty big windrows too. Idle that down. Oh shoot, I'm gonna have my HUD hit. Um we'll do that, we'll switch. There wait, no There we go. Shouldn't have any trouble with that. Drop our header. Oh, didn't switch. There we go, drop our header. Kick the header on. Oh, I need to unfold the pickup. Oh, I see it just comes out like that. Alright. There we go. I think we're wide open now, aren't we? If we... Nope. Alright. So, basically, this is how you chop A. Um, let's see. How fast can we actually go? I think we can go 12. Well, that'll be alright. We'll run second gear. Actually, we'll try first. Put it in first. We'll try first. I think first goes about 7. Oh, it only goes 10. Alright, we'll run second then. Second gear, take off. We're getting 3 tons the acre. We shouldn't fill too many of these chopper boxes up. I wouldn't think you'd fill... Well, you'd probably fill 2 or 3 of them. This is the one I'd like to do first person in. Just because it's a lot easier to see everything. Switch to the header here. We'll lift it. And yeah, this is the good old 880. Now the reason I put did the big pickup header, one, well it was a little more expensive, but I could pick up a way bigger windrow, which I figured I have a pretty good sized windrow with the other. I just wish you could do corn, like, because like if it, if a corn corn gets hailed or something, you know, it messes it up or uh, I guess high winds and knocks it all over. I guess you can still silage it, but some people like mow it and then bale it up. Be pretty neat to do. I don't know how you do it though. Uh, I know they have like wet distillers and stuff in in uh, in the game. I don't know how to do that either. But I think my next map will be probably Newland, and that'll probably be the last map that I will do. Yeah, I'm 97, 98. After this, it'll be full, I guess. Yeah. So if I had another person here, what I would do is I'd just drop it off and we'd trade wagons. They'd go dump the wagon, but unfortunately, uh, only one person wants to play right now, but he's busy. That's good old Artist Jack. Artist Jack Monty, he made squads pick up. He's a good modder. I like him a lot for mod. Actually, the audio might be too loud. Oh, boy. Tap it up. Actually, the next map might be... The... Crap. What map's that called? Mills County. We'll probably end up doing that map. That map will probably be the next one. Uh, I figured Nick was going to do it. 
and he didn't he don't like that map don't know why if it's just too big for him or what he did autumn oaks just fine because i don't like autumn oaks that much i mean i'll play on it if i have to however it's kind of a just strange map so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and fill up this chopper box do a little time lapse in here because you guys a few of you guys wanted time lapses like what's on my channel by the way if you want to go check out my channel the links down below and yeah we're gonna fill this up and I'll see you guys when it's full all right so we are pretty much full here we're 94 percent we'll go ahead and shut the machine off we'll pull that one with the 4020 Something's beeping at me. I don't know what that was about. I'm guessing the full mod or the full, full whatever you want to call it. All right, so we're just gonna leave this one. We'll dump it with the uh, what do you call it? The 4020. We'll dump it with that, or we might just leave it in the chopper box till we get a dozer. Dozer. Well, we'll probably end up getting a loader. Let's see. Let's put this. Shoot, I don't know where to put it. I think we'll just put it in this shed in front of the mower here. We need to move it later. We can. Oh, wrong way. Shoot. There we go. Yeah, but the duels on this thing is insane. I like it a lot. Just the look of this John Deere. It's awesome. That's what it is. So we'll leave it parked there. We'll shut this door. Probably have to break out the hay wagons and feed the cows. Or get them so that they can, when we buy them, that they can eat. Let's see, what do we gotta do now? Gotta go rake the hay over here. Actually, we could pull the chopper boxes with that. We'll see if the old 4020 can do it. I think it can. Alright, so we got in it here. We're gonna go ahead and hook up. Coming in hot. We'll switch the gears. Now, we have to start out in high gear. Nope. Oh, it's moving though. It's moving. Oh, it popped it neutral, didn't it? Yeah, we'll start off in fourth. Should be able to do it in fourth, I think. Ooh, it's going. That might. All right, here we go. Whoa, she's going. She's moving. I think we got it. It's a good old load on it though. I think fourth gear is about the max with this thing. I think we might have to start out in first or something. It doesn't have power shift, so that's when. Oh, yeah. That's the other thing. I can't see if the clutch is fully out yet. Well, I know it's in neutral. We'll do it in high. High one. That's two mile an hour. That's slow. Oh, six mile an hour. That ain't terrible. We'll try second gear. I think it's able to. Ooh, big load. It's gaining though. It was. That's because I'm pulling a hill too. That doesn't help. All right, we'll just go one then. I oh, guess we'll just go one gear. First gear. Ooh, there's a tack on there that shows the. That's sweet. Is that your speed? That's your RPM. Oh yeah, it's pulling it all right. I'd probably end up putting a bigger tractor on it. If I was going long distances, but for this little short little run, it's all right. Could pull it with a razor. Razor pull it empty. All right, let's see if we got on cement if it'll help. There we go. I figured it would. I figured it was just just to the point where it barely pulls it, but it'll run. It'll run it in second gear right? on the flat ground. It won't pull the hills in second. It's kind of heavy for it. I think we'll just leave it hooked up though. We'll go start bailing. Square bailing the other place and then when we get our loader we can uh, move the square bales also. So we don't have a loader right now. We'll have to get one. This is technically a loader but there's no loader mount on it. it kind of sucks. So we're going to run the good old 4440. So I'm sure you guys want to see that thing run. Or maybe some of you guys already have one. 
have one in the game in your game and you probably already play with it but we'll drive over here oh, yeah, I gotta shut that off I gotta remember to switch them all um switch a Rooney go first person oh yeah first person this tractor is backwards already back up in here sneak around all the stuff now there is like an auto stacker that I could put behind the baler if I wanted to there's a hitch back there there's a little hitch right there which it works alright the only problem is when it gets full it kinda pushes the baler around in the tractor uh, don't matter what size well I guess if you have like a big stagger or something but it will push this tractor around that's for sure so the grass is gonna disappear in a few days probably should have kicked the baler on but we'll lower the pickup kick it on we don't want to bail in fourth gear in fact I already screwed up my window I think we'll bail I think third will work we'll try second this just has power shift on it so we should be able to shift I wish it had 18 gears that'd be real nice oh yeah we'll shift up another gear in fact, when the first few bales come out, I'll do it like this till the first few bales come out. And then I'll do first person. There's only three windrows here. So there's not going to be a crap ton of hay. There will be over there, though. Because I'm going to rake all that with the rhino. It's going to take a little while for the bales to come out. Might have to bail in fourth gear, I guess, for, to go 12. It's a little fast. Ain't terrible. So yeah, I wish there was 18 gears. That'd be cool. Because you'd have more gear range options. At least like 10. 10 would be like the best, I would say, for a tractor in Farm Sim. So yeah, there's another, there's one bale. Actually, that's our first bale. Should get the old bale counter. Good old bale counter in here. Another bale's about to pop out. This is a big one. This is the one I raked all this little section together. We'll probably have to hit it a couple times. Just do that. This will be a good winner out of rake or to bail up. I'm gonna go back and get that little bit there. A little bit in the back that I missed. Actually it got a good amount of that winner. Wow, that's crazy. Turn here. See so yeah, there's another one about to pop out the back. Oh, and the other thing is, do you guys want me to use auto load, or do you want me to do it realistically, where I just um, just bail it up, or do you want me to actually load it on a flatbed? Do you want me to use auto load? Because I do have an auto load semi in here. It's pretty sweet. It's a big old 10 by 10. Looks like a big log truck. If anybody has ever seen that, there, it's it's a sweet truck. It'll do square, round, pallets, all kinds of good stuff. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and finish bailing. We got one strip left over there. There's a big old giant hole right here that I need to fix. A dirt moving company needs to fix. There we go. Need to get squads construction crew on here to fix it. There's a good plan there. But we'll turn around, we'll go ahead and finish this windrow, get it all finished up. Okay, so we just got done. We're going to go ahead and unload these bales here. We'll let them fall out. And I think I'll just leave the baler hooked onto this tractor. We'll, we'll pull it over here in the driveway. I got equipment scattered out. That's probably how harvest will go. I think it'll be scattered. We'll see. If we run like two combines and a bunch of vehicles, it will be. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to run over here, jump in the, uh, what you call it? The 3294? 3294, I believe. Let's see if I'm right. Hey, hey, 3294. We'll fire that up. I always hide my HUD and then forget about it. Do you guys want me to hide my head? Or do you want me to keep it out? It's another thing I need to know or want to know. Let's drive through our yard here. This grass don't grow. I might just chisel it up and make it grass. 
And we can like fertilize our lawn and do all that. But we'll unfold the good old rhino rake. Kick it on, drop her in the ground. There we go, shift down a couple gears. Oh, that might screw us up. And the bad thing about this rake is it doesn't like rake like a normal rake, like take it from the point that it's taking it from and then put it back where it's supposed to be. It like moves it back like 20 foot right away, which that's kind of, it's kind of hard to mod these rakes too. It's real hard to mod these rakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and rake this whole field. Got to get it raked and then probably we'll see how much time I got left. Kind of running out of time now. Probably just make a longer video. It's a plus plus. Win win for everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and rake all of this up. Okay, so we just got done raking the field. I did use GPS a little bit. It'll shut that off. And let me know, do you like do you like GPS? Like, squad doesn't like the lines. I don't really care for the lines. I can hide them if I want. I mean, I think that the lines are good. They, you can see where you're going. Because in real life, you got that little screen to watch. I mean, basically, you just watch the screen instead of... Let's see. Yeah, you just watch the screen instead of, like... Now, basically, this is the screen in the game. You can see it from two points, I'd say. Yeah. So we'll park this rake here. Wow, that's about as long as the other one. In fact, it's probably longer, ain't it? Yeah, because this is just, well, it's about the same. About the same distance here. So we're going to get in the baler, the 4440. I'm going to get some cows bought, too. I'll probably end up buying... Some people say this facility will hold 100, which... I'd probably... I'd, I'd agree with that. A little less. So I'll probably end up buying 120. We'll max out this facility. Uh, I'll probably do unrealistic on that part, because I'd like to do, like, a just crap ton of them. But we'll drop the pickup here. We'll take off bailing away. I like this little ditch how you drive in here. It's like a normal hayfield. So yeah, we're going to have these hills in the background there. Like in these two fields, there's like hills and ditches and stuff. We'll have them all fixed next year in spring one, hopefully. If the custom or if the construction people get it done in time. Just finishing up here. I'm gonna shut GPS GPS off again. We'll kick the bales out of the chamber. I think what we'll do. Yeah, we got two there. Wow. We'll slowly drive off of this because it's pretty rough going through there. We'll take this up to the house. We'll go ahead and fold it up. We're pretty much done baling. I think we have enough bales to get through the year. Maybe short on grass, but we should be able to get some through the summer next year. Probably won't buy them for a while. Let's shift this into high gear. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. 
We're bailing away. We got the grass there. Let's see what else. So I think that's pretty much pretty much all I wanted to do today. Uh next video we'll probably ferment that. Actually I'll probably do that in between. I'll probably end up pushing that and doing all that because that takes a lot of time to do with all the work you have to do because you have to put it all in and then push it and pack it and it takes forever to pack especially if you have a good amount probably just pack it with the 4020 um what's in the corner here a drainage pit drainage deal must be is it come out the back yep cool all right so if you guys did enjoy the video hit that like button Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and we will see y'all next time.